गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास हाउ आर यू आर होप यू विल बी फाइन दिस इज योर जियोग्राफी लेसन एंड इन दिस लेसन वी आर रीडिंग अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट इन दिस रिगार्ड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पाकिस्तान रेलवेज रोड्स एंड ड्राई पोर्ट्स एज वेल टूडे इन दिस लेसन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एयर ट्रांसपोर्ट so we start our lesson students a transport is an important enabler to achieving economic growth and development a transport facilitates integration into the global economy and provides vital connectivity on a national regional and international scale it helps generate trade promote tourism and create employment opportunities you are supposed to open page number 210 and read more about air transport let's start reading and explanation as well air transport is most effective for low volume and high value goods that need to be moved quickly so it is very used full for the heavy as well as low um volume uh, goods to move quickly there is an extensive domestic air network linking all the key cities and major district centers so in pakistan if we have a look we have uh, air network linking all the key cities and major districts of pakistan in 1947 orient airways a small air company operated in pakistan first of all in 1947 only one small air company was uh, working here and that was orient airways by 1949 there was three small air companies pakistan airways orient airways and crescent airways so within the passage of time after two uh, years there were three small airways and that were pakistan airways orient airways and crescent airways after 1955 one of those closed and orient airways merged with pakistan airways to form pakistan international airlines so with the passage of time after 1955 one was closed one small company was closed and two companies were merged with each other and became one pakistan international airlines pia pakistan international airlines was established in 1955 so with the emergence with the uh, uh, with the collaboration of these two companies one uh, international airline was established that was pakistan international airlines pakistan international airlines was established in 1955 to provide safe and efficient transport on domestic and international routes so pakistan international airlines uh, is um carrying um passengers uh, within the country and internationally also the network of pakistan international airlines now covers 55 international and 37 domestic destinations so uh, the network of uh, pakistan international airline is very vast it covers 55 countries it means it uh, the flight goes to 55 uh, countries and as well as 37 um, destinations uh, within the country the civil aviation authority manages and develops civil aviation in pakistan pakistan civil aviation authority is a public sector autonomous body under the administrative control of the 
secretary to the government of Pakistan for aviation which oversees and regulates all aspects of civil aviation in Pakistan so uh, this is the authority that is working for the air transport air transport and the private sector with the deregulation of the airline industry in the early 1990s three private airlines started operating in the country so within the passage of time there are new private airlines have been introduced in the country and uh, these are shaheen airlines boja airlines that is closed now aero asia airlines students pi's domestic routes we are talking about pi uh, pakistan international airlines so what are the routes domestic routes uh, of pia in big cities uh, the uh, domestic routes are in karachi lahore islamabad peshawar faisalabad multan hyderabad sakkar and quetta these are big cities in pakistan where Mm, this uh, uh, airline has been, this airline uh, is reachable accessible intermediate size towns nawab shah jakbabad miawali bannu kohat dera ismail khan larkana served by Mohenjo-daro in accessible areas the areas that are not accessible that are not in reach and um, the areas are Gilgit, Sikardu, Chitral, Zob, Khuzdar, Pasni, Panjgar, Durbat, Jivani as we came to know that there are three private airlines one is shaheen airlines number two boja airline that is closed now and number three is aero asia airlines they operate on domestic routes to the major cities but are starting to expand internationally uh, initially they are uh, operating on domestic level but uh, they are expanding internationally as well new airlines are starting and this should provide a more competitive environment pia connects the following areas pia's international routes firstly we uh, read about domestic routes now we will read about pia's international routes european countries how many European countries are included in PI international routes? These are UK, UK stands for United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Russia, USA, United States of America, New York, Chicago, Washington, Washington, DC. In United States of America, there are three uh, cities where PIA international uh, routes are available and these are New York, Chicago, Washington, DC. Middle East countries. In Middle East countries there is UAE, UAE, uh, UAE and in UAE there are uh, different states and the states are Sharjah, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. In three states of UAE, UAE uh, PIA International um, airline is available as well as Bahrain and Oman are also included in Middle East countries. Eastern and Far Eastern countries. What are these countries? These are India, Malaysia, Philippines, Bangladesh, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Thailand, China notably hong kong 
Now come to the factors. Factors contributing to the development of air transport. The use of air transport has increased significantly. Internal factors. Number one, air transport is faster than rail and road. As we have already read about rail transport and road transport. So air transport is uh, faster than those um, transports. Med medium of transports. It is the most effective mode of uh, transport for high value light weight goods. So uh, this um, means of transport can carry uh, high volume as well as low volume goods from one place to another uh, place in a very short time. People who value time and can afford the higher cost prefer to go by air. So the people who can afford and who can buy um, uh, costly tickets, uh, so they prefer to uh, move from aircrafts. Number two, the rail and road network is concentrated in the plains. In the mountainous regions like the northern area, not all the roads are metalled and frequent landslides hamper the traffic hamper uh, hurdle and stop so uh, in the areas as uh, northern areas are not accessible easily so uh, there are not roads metal road uh, uh, frequent uh, roads pias air routes to places like gilgit and skardu make these areas more accessible so uh, PIA is the only uh, route or only airline that reaches to Gilgit and Sakardu and the areas are in reach. We can go to Gilgit and Sakardu easily by aeroplanes, by uh, these uh, routes, air routes. There is a rise in the general living standard of the people due to industrialization and urbanization. More people can afford to travel by air. As I have told you in the beginning that uh, the effect of uh, air transport is that economy uh, uh, rises as the people uh, meet with each other they exchange their ideas they trade with either uh, which uh, with each other so uh, this affect the economy of the country so this is another cause to rise the general growth and general uh, living standard of the people external factors what are the external factors one in recent years air cargo transport has increased to the middle east and consist mainly of perishable items like fruits and vegetables students as you know very well that fruits and vegetables uh, are fresh for some days we cannot uh, take them we cannot uh, uh, freeze them for so many days if we want to do some trade with other countries as we want to export fruits and vegetables to other countries through roads it is not possible because if we do trade and we uh, carry things uh, with road on the road it will take a lot of time to carry things from one place to another. But air transport makes it easy to export things quickly to the Middle East, to the other countries as well. Improvement in communication has turned the world into a global village with more with more passengers from all walks of life using air travel. Migration has also increased. 
within the passage of time the uh, the world has become a global village because because of uh, the fast um, mode of uh, transportation air transportation it has become easy to go to move from one country to another country from one far uh, away place to uh, another place in a very short time so uh, in this way all the things all um, other changes are uh, increasing all the changes are done very quickly if the uh, people want uh, to move from one place to leave the place forever and to shift and to uh, migrate to another an other place for safety and for other purposes for earning they can move easily another uh, external factor is during recent years air transport facilities have improved greatly with the provision of the latest international quality equipment for example the installation of moving walkways in the jina terminal at karachi another uh, external factor is this that uh, looking at the concept of growing economical growth and uh, international facilities pakistan has also improved the inter, uh, improved the airways uh, to uh, make up make up up to the mark to uh, make the air transport up to the international level so that we can become independent in this way international airports of pakistan at present there are eight airports which have international status how many airports are here international airports are here in pakistan there are eight airports which have international status they are karachi islamabad lahore peshawar multan faisalabad quetta and gawadar and other one is being built at sialkot out of these karachi is the busiest airport followed by islamabad lahore and peshawar you know very well that karachi is the capital uh, city of uh, sindh and uh, as well as the biggest city of pakistan so this is the biggest uh, busiest place uh, and uh, airport as well from quetta international flights go to zahrain and tehran only and from gawadar limited international flights are operational to muscat and bahrain understand students though so uh, this is your lesson for today thank you for listening take care allah hafiz